the birds and the bees. I don't get it. There, I said it. I just don't get it. Am I a bird? Am I a bee? Am I a flower? Am I a tree? I don't get it. The birds and the bees. There, I said it. I just don't get it. So I've just spent most of the afternoon at the library trying to research why the birds and the bees is called the birds and the bees. <laughs> it's something I've never really been able to figure out so I sat down and tried to figure it out with like books that would explain situations to me of flowers and bees and birds and how they all relate together. I've been trying to make this analogy fit to human situation and <laughs> it just doesn't really work <laughs> because honeybees that do all the pollination are all female and they're all virgins and the flowers remain quite apart they don't even see each other flowers have male and female organs and sometimes they pollinate themselves and uh, I don't know, it, it all just doesn't really seem to work. Um, like the pollen's being passed from a flower to a flower and birds or bees are just conduits to run in between. Um, so they're more like cupid, I guess, maybe. So a bee or a bird acts more like a sperm bank. Mm. Uh, I'm getting rained on and dripped on. So, learning about birds and bees has more in common with the artificial insemination than natural insemination, if you know what I mean. Yep, so, um, don't understand it. There's a bird. It doesn't work. Yep, that's my conclusion. It just doesn't work.